I'm Joy Ray. I'm an artist. I live mostly on the Big Island of Hawaii and also in LA part-time. I'm originally from California and I'm kind of obsessed with the end of the world. Things feel a little bit precarious these days and I find myself thinking what happens if it all goes sideways. So my new body of work, post-apocalyptic petroglyphs, explores that idea. I'm basically merging paintings and textiles to create what I think of as artifacts from the end of civilization or maybe the rebirth of civilization, depending on how optimistic I feel on any given day. My roots are really in textile art and fiber art, embroidery. Then I've gotten obsessed with texture lately, so I'm bringing in things like sand, house paint, yarn, burnt toast, twine, string, all kinds of different materials to really explore texture. I'm really drawn to black and white and grayscale. A little bit of red sometimes will come in. And I think it's maybe part of like growing up with punk rock and goth type stuff. It's a little bit of that aesthetic from my early days. What I'm really interested in is tapping into whatever my muse has to offer me. And these are the colors that kind of get me to that place that I want to be. So it's a little bit of a mystical journey that I'm on. One of the things I was thinking with this body of work is what would the role of visual communication be in a world where people maybe didn't have a common language and maybe even overt communication was really dangerous. I think about the idea of communicating in secret codes or through symbols with other people. So these might be you know, things that you could hang out the window of your building to signal to people that something was going to happen or that it wasn't safe or that it was safe. I also think about the idea of using visual communication to cast spells and to communicate with the gods to make a spell of protection or to document your own personal history in a way that can't be discovered by anybody else. So it's this idea of communication that's secret, that's covert, and that's between yourself and, and others potentially in this world. Living on the Big Island of Hawaii, it's super volcanic there. There's a pretty mystical energy overall. So last year the volcano was really active and it was taking whole homes and communities and it made me really think about what's under the older volcanic flows, like under those old flows that have been there since 1815. There were other homes, there were other communities that are still under there. Even under our feet when we walk around, it seems like it's grass, it seems like it's sidewalks, but actually underneath that is magma that can come out at any time. So I'm really interested in that idea of just because there's no proof that it exists doesn't mean that it's not there. So that idea of a mystery and being in the presence of mystery is something that's very interesting to me.